guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch you working on Wednesday. First of all, it's after six. I wanted to film this all day and never got a chance. <laughs> so it's a little late, but that's okay. Also, I just got out of the shower, so my hair's wet, and I'm wearing my my shower bow because <laughs> um, my moisturizer's on my face. <laughs> so it keeps my hair out of my face, and it's cute, and it's pink, and I love it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so this week, I'm not working on a new whip. I'm working on an old whip, and actually the only whip I have right now going, and that is my uh, Stonewash uh, Shrug by Make and Do Crew. It is a free pattern, and I've been slowly working on it. Uh, since I think February, early February, I think I started it. And um, I ended up working on a ton of amigurumis and little projects and uh, this just kind of got pushed back and pushed back. So I decided the other day that I'm gonna go ham and work on this until it's done. I'm not gonna start any more whips until this is done, which stinks because there's amigurumis that I wanna make and there's a couple national holidays coming up quickly that I want to make um, thanks for. So, uh, that's just motivating me to get on the, the row or whatever on the ball and finish this up. So I worked on it a little bit today while June was napping. She ended up having a really good nap earlier today. Um, she fell asleep on the couch and I moved her to the swing and she slept there for a while. So I was able to clean the house a little bit and then sat down and crochet for a little while before she started waking up. So I uh, took advantage. So this is my stonewash um, shrug that I'm making for making do crew, like I said. I'm using an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. This is a Clover Amore. This was gifted to me a while ago, and I absolutely love these hooks. I have two whole sets of these that were gifted to me, and I use them often. I normally like the Susan Bate top heads. This is more like a boy, but um, these ones just work so good. Better than boys, And uh, but I do still love my Susan Bates. I have a ton of Susan Bates that I use all the time. Anyways, I digress. Yarn. <laughs> the yarn that I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Zebra. This is the third skein, and it's really floopy. <laughs> and... Um, I already said it was zebra, but uh, it's a number four worsted weight and it's acrylic and all that jazz. 100% acrylic. And this is the third skein that's into this project. Now, last time you seen it, I was still working on the rectangle shape for a shrug. Most shrugs, you make like a big rectangle and then you, the two long end corners you like put together and cinch. And that's what makes the armholes and then you can um, attach to those to make sleeves. That's the part that I'm on now. I Today I did the... Um, 10 rows. I was supposed to do 72, but I was trying it on and uh, 62 fit the way I wanted it to fit. So uh, after I finished up those last 10 rows, I then had to, there's a little fluff right there from the yarn tails, because I know it'll get worked into there. I always cut them, stick it out a little bit, because after they gets washed and stuff, it gets kind of sucked in. Anyways, so I did cinch the corners and uh, you can probably see it through here is my seam, where I just used uh, a big piece of yarn and sewed up my seams, seams to my sleeves. So like there's one of my armholes. Stick my, arm, my hand in there, see? You can see that's my armhole. <laughs> and then the other side's over here. And I like the way it fits. I'm gonna take a picture and insert it of me wearing it at the moment um, before it's done, just so you can see how it sits. <laughs> and I have attached the yarn to the first side over here to make a sleeve. I've done one, one row and I just barely started the second row of the sleeve. Um, the pattern says to do 18 rows of the sleeve, but again, I'm gonna, um, be trying it on as I do it, because it's really how you have to do garments, because <laughs> everybody's body's different, you know, even if you're the same weight as someone, you might be a different top size or length of your arms, so I'm gonna, um, just keep sliding my arm in it like I do when I make cardigans, and, uh, get it down to a good size, uh, before I want to do the cuff, because this, this particular pattern has cuffs on the sleeves, and then it has a, um, collar <laughs> cuff around the hole, thing of it the whole body of it <laughs> I don't know my phrases but um yeah so I'm working on the sleeve I'm excited about that because these should work up really fast it's a lot smaller circles that I'm going in instead of uh, rows back and forth that was long so I just gotta keep trying on to make this sleeve then I'll I'll cut it off and attach the other side and make that sleeve and then that'll be all the zebra so I should have I'll probably have to open up the fourth skein to um, make the two sleeves because this one's already really floppy but that'll leave me with a couple of full skeins, two full skeins, and then whatever's left of the fourth skein of Zebra. So I'll probably use that to make amigurumis with in the future. And uh, then I'll be pulling out my Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm that I've been hoarding. <laughs> um, that was gifted to me in a little yarn haul. It's a discontinued yarn. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite greens. And the only other green that's similar to it that I've been able to find is I love this yarn limelight but even it's a different shade of bright green because like the glow worm is like fluorescent 
glow in the dark kind of it doesn't actually glow in the dark but it looks like it would green lime light from i love the shine is really similar but it's it's brighter than spring green which is like right here but it's still not as bright as glow worm anyways that's going to be the cuffs and the collar because this is a uh, beetlejuice themed project because <laughs> i love tim burton so yeah so it's getting it's pretty big there's the sleeve you can kind of see that it's a shirt shape um thing going on there <laughs> I know it's hard to envision how a shrug is done and actually in order to sew the sleeves together or not the sleeves but like the two ends together to make the sleeve hole the armhole um i had to look up a video because on the pattern it's just written out how to do it and i couldn't like process it in my brain what that meant and i haven't really made a sh I've, I've never made a shrug before so i went to youtube and just typed in crochet shrug and i just kind of fast forwarded to where the person in that video was making was closing it to make armholes and that's how i was like i seen it and i was like oh okay i understand what that means now so i was able to um figure out how to close this part up or how to fold it to close it up to make armholes but uh yeah so i took a few little clips today of me just crocheting on this and um i had the window open and my plants was like blowing in the breeze and i just took some clips i thought i'd share with you guys at the end of this and i'll also take a photo of me wearing this um to show you what it looks like so far and uh then it real soon it'll have sleeves and it'll have collar and cuffs because i want to work on my amigurumis there's a national holiday i'm trying to think oh sun this coming sunday is the one that i want to do so today is wednesday so thursday friday saturday i need to like get that done i think um really if june's good tomorrow <laughs> i probably can get most of this done tomorrow and for sure Friday or Saturday because Devin's going to be home those two days. And he took vacation time for Sunday, Monday. So that he is home um, for four days in a row because Jesse's on spring break next week. And uh, that way we can have more family time. But yeah, anyways, I'm blabbing <laughs> as per usual. But I'm going to go uh, take that picture real fast and then edit this and get it up for you guys. And then I got to get Jesse's stuff ready for school tomorrow because it's already that time of night where I need to pack up his backpack i got his report card it came today and he got all threes which is good in his school uh kindergarten through second grade they grade on a scale of one two three one being unsatisfactory two being um like in the middle you know neutral what am I, acceptable and three is satisfactory so he got all threes and all his little things that they grade kindergartners in so i was like, really uh glad about that so i gotta sign that get that in there i gotta pack his lunch I gotta get his snack ready, all that stuff. Lay out his clothes, lay out my clothes so that the morning's a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm, I'm just talking. So I hope you enjoy these little clips here at the end of me blabbing. And I'll see you guys in a day or two, maybe in another video. And yeah, I guess that's it. Bye guys.